So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now this video is going to be a little compilation of some trophy clips that I have recorded in the past few weeks. Starting off here with a beautiful female melanistic Alaskan moose and as you will have seen she absolutely folded from that shot from the 338. Really really beautiful. I do love the melanistic Alaskan moose. I would like to get a couple more males. Obviously I I now have the five star melanistic but it'd be nice to get a couple of other decent sized ones to put in the lodge it's a shame you can't really put the females anywhere except a couple of the multi mounts so eventually a couple more melanistic bulls would be really cool but this female is still really really beautiful the melanistics look fantastic so i was really happy to find her now sticking with the theme of melanistic females but this time over on nez Perce valley and we have a melanistic female mule deer now i actually found this melanistic doe whilst I was doing the video looking for all the new five star racks that the mule deer have now and I ended up finding this one in multiplayer and I was actually really pleased to see it because I hadn't seen any melanistic mule deer for a while. Now I managed to get that shot in just as she was turning and as a result the shot was uh, quite far back in the lungs but still going through the lung and she didn't actually go that far before she went down. She went down fairly quickly, the 6.5 doing a a fantastic job still just a really beautiful melanistic i love how these guys look they are absolutely gorgeous now moving from a melanistic doe to a melanistic buck and i ended up finding this guy on my single player map now again i was still at this point hunting for all the new five star racks and it again was really cool to see another melanistic because i'd gone quite a while without seeing any rare mule deer and then i got two melanistics quite quickly back to back and then none again after to that in all of the time I spent hunting for the mule deer. Unfortunately this guy is just a one star mature and is absolutely tiny. I knew from when he was a youngster that he really wasn't gonna get very big as he was wonky even as a one star young when he first showed up on the map and unfortunately as you can see his antlers are really really small even as a mature. Better shot on this guy then on that melanistic doe, more forward in the lungs and actually getting some damage on the heart as well which is why he dropped on the spot. But look Looking at his genes, he is a 21.55%. So obviously whilst I was looking for 5 stars, this is not the kind of quality buck I was looking for, but he is a gorgeous melanistic, so that kind of makes up for him being so small. I would really love to get like a really big 4 or 5 star melanistic mule deer one day. They do look absolutely beautiful, but this guy is a little 182.1 scoring buck, and even though he's small, it was still cool to find. Now moving over to Transylvania for the next few clips and we're starting off with a five star Roebuck. Now honestly I had no idea that this guy was a five star when I originally spotted him. I just saw a very very pale looking roe deer with its back to me and so basically I spotted him and then it popped up saying five star and I was just in complete shock. I was not expecting it to be a five star. I didn't even know if it was a buck or a doe because all I could see was the hind end. So when it popped up and said five star that was really exciting. The Rodia are some of my favourite five stars in this game because they are obviously based off of some world record size bucks. They are absolutely huge and they are my favourite Rodia in any hunting game. They just look amazing. I mean that is an incredible, amazingly huge buck. Just absolutely fantastic. He's a 96.57% and we did shoot him with the 338 as I was hunting red deer and that was the only rifle I had at the time basically. So I ended up shooting him with the 338. But of course the hunt rating doesn't really matter. What matters is that he is a 5 star and he scores 488.1. So a really nice big trophy roe deer which is always really exciting. He also has paler antlers than normal and at least he did whilst walking around and in the heart harvest screen when I mounted him and put him in the lodge he had the normal sort of darker brown color antlers but it would have been cool if he'd stayed having those sort of more light brown antlers because it made him a bit more different and it was a shame that when he was put into the lodge and mounted on one of the plaques that the antlers actually changed color Sticking with Transylvania and this time moving into a rare, we have an albino red deer hind. Now this is actually in the same spot where we got the five star roe deer but this was in a different server and she is absolutely gorgeous. I love the albino red deer. They are so gorgeous and so majestic. I mean 
just look at her as she's going away there after that shot. She just sticks out like a sore thumb, this bright, glowing deer. Just absolutely gorgeous. The biggest albino red deer I have at the moment, I believe, is a three-star mature. I really would love to get, again, a big four-star or a five-star one day because they are just absolutely beautiful. And that would be a, a real dream trophy of mine. I really do love the red deer. And I ended up coming out to hunt these guys basically because of the announcement of the new map that is coming to way of the hunter, Matariki Park. And after seeing that huge red stag in that reveal image, I just had an urge to come and hunt red deer in this game because the models are amazing. I mean, look at the detail in this model. She is just absolutely beautiful. I believe from what I've seen it said in the Discord, the official Discord for Way of the Hunter, that the New Zealand red deer will also have an albino variant, I hope. I'm pretty sure I saw that that's what got said. I'm crossing my fingers that that is accurate because I would really love to get a huge New Zealand stag with this beautiful albino coat. These guys are absolutely stunning. I'd love to get a five star on Transylvania with the albino coat too eventually, because I think it's cool that there is going to be the difference between the red deer on the two maps, and it would be cool to get sort of one of each, because they're both their, sort of their own trophies in their own right. The, you know, the Transylvania red deer are sort of more of your, your big, wild, classic looking red deer, whereas the New Zealands are just absolute giants and like more private land, absolutely monster stags. So it would be cool to, you know, have trophies of each and eventually, you know, the absolute dream would be to have a five star albino of each. But, you know, that's not very likely to happen, but I can dream because I really do love the red deer in this game. They are absolutely fantastic. And I just love that there is going to be a difference between the red deer on the two maps, that they're not just red deer and they're going to be the exact same sizes and the exact same variants. Having the variance between a species that is the same on different maps is just remarkable. And I absolutely love that Way of the Hunter is doing that. Now, we managed to drop this particular five-star red deer here on Transylvania with a nice clean heart shot from the 338. And then I saw this guy's genetics. 99.99%. Now, that is the highest genetics I have seen on any non-mission animal in this game. That is wild. And I was just hoping that he could be a max score, but I had obviously not left him alive for long enough. He was a five star and scores 468, but he'd obviously had another year or two left as a five star and could have potentially been a max score if I'd left him for long enough. But I didn't actually know how old he was. So as soon as I saw him hit five star, I took the shot and it would have been nice to get a max score red deer. And it was a bit of a shame that I shot him too early, but at the end of the day, I'm happy to have another five star. Now, moving on to the next five star red deer, and we have another really gorgeous stag here. This guy took a couple of shots, and I don't like it when I have to put multiple shots into an animal, really. But what ended up happening is when I first spotted this guy, the wind was really bad at this spot, and the whole herd went trotting up into these trees. And I tried to make a shot where I could barely see, the visibility wasn't great. And unfortunately, as you will see here, the shot went too far back. If I had held that shot just a little bit further forward, it would have got lungs and it would have killed him. But where I actually ended up placing the shot was just a little bit too far back, I believe as he was taking a step. And you can see the shot goes past the liver, past the stomach and intestines, and goes past the one lung and into the gap between the lungs and basically hits nothing. So that was really unfortunate. But I managed to catch up with this stag the very next day and as you can see, much cleaner shot into the lungs brought this guy down instantly. So I was really happy to actually get him down. Like I said, I really don't like when I have to put multiple shots into an animal. I prefer a nice clean kill and I try to do that as much as possible to make drop shots or just, you know, one shot kills. So it's always unfortunate when I end up having to shoot an animal multiple times, but I am really relieved that we managed to get this stag down. He scores 485.9, so a pretty big five star. He's a really, really gorgeous stag. They are just so, so beautiful. 
Now moving on to the next clip and we have another five star red deer. All of these five star red deer and the albino are literally because of that announcement that we got about the new reserve and seeing those giant stags and I just I just wanted to come and hunt red deer in this game because they're one of my favourite animals. The models for them are just fantastic. I genu genuinely believe that these are some of the best models in the game. The red deer are just fantastic. I love their antlers, they just, everything about them, the detail, they look fantastic. So I just had the biggest urge to come and hunt them and it was really rewarding. My own map and a little bit of multiplayer while I was waiting for things to age produced a lot of trophies. This time we have a 489 scoring stag, so a little bit bigger than even the previous one. So really, really nice to see some very big stags. Most of these were off of my own map. I think there was only one that I got in multiplayer. So my map has been producing a lot of big five stars here on Transylvania because I have been managing the red deer really quite heavily ever since this I, since this game came out, basically. The red deer have always been a passion of mine and I have been quite focused on every time I come out here shooting out the, the smallest and the weakest genetics. And it's resulted in a lot of very, very big stags, including that 99.99% stag. Which, like I said, would have been nice if I'd left him alive a little bit longer, but unfortunately, I didn't know how old he was, so what can you do? But we ended up with quite a few trophy stags anyway, so ended up with a lot of different 5-star red deer. To the point that now I have so many 5-star red deer that I have no more space for them in the trophy lodge. I have mounts of so many different 5-star reds that they are filling the lodge. And then of course I have a few albino stags in there as well. So the lodge is just f filled with red deer trophies because of how much I hunt these guys. But it never gets boring seeing a big 5-star like this guy, a 466.0 they just all look so impressive. The smaller five stars, the bigger five stars, they always just look so majestic. Really gorgeous, gorgeous stags. And we have yet another five star here who once again dropped from that shot. Nice and clean. Again, this is actually the same location as the stag that took two shots, but on a this was actually in multiplayer again while i was waiting for things to age so this is just a really good spot for red deer in general as well and as you will have seen nice clean shot brought this guy down on the spot which is always the most ideal thing this guy's a 97.9 percent and i knew he must be quite big because those brows are seriously impressive those brow and bay times are really really long and look just amazing such a fantastically beautiful and majestic looking stag and being that big I, I really wasn't surprised when I picked him up only scores 460 so again could have left this guy for a bit longer but again I didn't know how old this stag was so seeing that he was already a five star I made the decision to take him and honestly I'm pleased because I ended up with another five star I do need to get into the habit more of starting to leave some five stars when they you know when they actually hit five star and see if they can get a bit bigger with some of these species where I do have multiple five stars already but I just I'm always so nervous about doing it Moving over to Aurora Shores for the next couple of clips, and here we have an albino female bison. Now, I haven't had a whole lot of albino bison since they actually released, and it's always really exciting to see them. But until this point, I had only ever seen albino females. I had never seen an albino bull in the live game. The only male albino I saw, I believe, was in the dev branch. So I have no albino bison in the trophy lodge at this point, and I was really wishing that this female had been a male. It's just how my luck was. It's almost like the same with the melanistic moose. I ended up shooting a melanistic bull Alaskan moose on the dev branch when those were first released and then I just got nothing but females in the live game until I found the five star melanistic which was just nuts that the first melanistic bull I got in the live game was a five star so seeing all of these albino female bison in the live game I was sort of hoping that maybe the same thing would happen and I'd end up finding like a really good size albino bull as my first one and when I did finally find a male albino bison the other day, I initially was really excited because I don't know if you guys will have been able to see that as it's quite hard to actually make out. 
But there was one horn on this bull that was absolutely massive. When I first spotted it, you can see it there as he turns. I was like, that's got to be like either a massive like four star or something or even a five star. And I spotted it and it was a one star young. And then he turned his head and I saw that he had one basically five star horn and one absolutely tiny horn, which is a sign of terrible terrible genetics in a bison here you can see the absolutely tiny tiny little horn it's literally only a few inches long it is absolutely tiny but the horn on the other side of his head is basically a five star horn and like i said when i spotted him and I, all i could see was that really big horn i was like oh my gosh is it gonna happen again i'm gonna end up finding a five star and then he turns his head and he's got one really big horn and one really really tiny horn and because I knew that he was going to have terrible genetics and probably wasn't going to get any bigger or really change as he aged, because that's what I've seen when bison have these really wonky horns, I decided to shoot him as a one star young. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that I did because he's a 25.79%. And the time it would have taken to age this guy up really wouldn't have been worth it. I don't think because I, like I said, I really don't think he would have grown much at all. He only scores 204. He is a very, very small male. But you'll see when we go to the inspect screen here. So you can see one tiny horn and one basically five star horn. That is literally the same size as the five stars I have in the lodge. And I can't believe it. It was almost like this game's equivalent of a troll. Spotting him and seeing that side of his head versus this side of his head. But I've mounted him in a way in the lodge where it shows off the, the more impressive horn at least. But he's such a gorgeous rare. So I can't complain. I'm really excited to have my first albino bison bull in the live game and in the lodge. But now, moving on to the final trophy of this video. And we're back on Transylvania. And I was once again hunting red deer. This is at that same zone where we shot the, the stag that took two shots and one of the last stags. And... I saw this pack of golden jackals and the first one I spot in this pack is a five star mature. I was just out here in single player culling some of my red deer and this guy just walks out. I was, I just couldn't believe it. Now I did shoot this guy with the 338. It was the only gun I had on me at the time that, and basically I wasn't again really worried about the hunt rating. I was just concerned about getting this guy down and him being a five star. That is absolutely wild. 90.15%. That is insane. For my first ever five star golden jackal to just walk out when I'm hunting red deer. I was not hunting jackal at all. I didn't even know that there were jackal in that particular area. I'd seen them, you know, in near areas, but not there exactly. And that's the first time I'd ever laid eyes on that particular pack. And there was a five star mature in there. This is one of the luckiest five stars I've ever gotten. And it's my first ever five star golden jackal. I'm so, so excited about this. I was just in complete shock. And I was so worried that they were going to spook because the wind wasn't great and they already knew I was there. That I just quickly took that shot and I was just more focused about, okay, just drop this guy and get him in the trophy lodge. Because I know trying to track them if they had spooked was going to be an absolute pain. And I didn't have any zones for them or anything in the area. I had literally no idea where these guys came from. So I just had to get this guy down as quickly as physically possible. And yeah, we get a one star hunt rating, but I'm not too fussed about that. He is a five star, which is the important thing. A five star trophy rating. Golden Jackal. That is so cool. I've always wanted to get one since they released, but I just figured it was going to be, you know, I'd, ha I'd have to like really start sort of grinding for them and like really focus in on finding their locations and stuff to actually get one. I didn't figure I'd be lucky enough to, to just have one wander out like that. That was absolutely wild. What a cool experience. And again, I was out here hunting red deer because of the announcement for Matariki Park. So that's... It was just so perfect. 486 score, 5 star golden jackal. Absolutely fantastic. This is such a cool trophy to me and I'm really, really pleased about this one. 
But that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Some really cool trophies in here that I was really, really excited to get. Especially the male albino bison and this five-star golden jackal. It's always cool getting a new five-star. There's still a, a fair few species in this game I need to get five stars for. Things like the European hare and the snowshoe hare and the red fox. A lot of smaller species that I need to still go and find five stars for. So managing to tick one of those off the list basically by pure luck was really 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 lucky and just such a cool thing to happen but like i said that is going to be it for this one so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always and i will see you in the next video thank you